There's a great book called More Guns, Less Crimes. This is public space. You should be allowed to carry here. You did that, man. Do you not remember that? I've had I've had a ton of students send me articles about crime that happens around here. You think Jared Barrow didn't want a gun on him or some kind of weapon to defend himself? Anybody who's a criminal should know that if if you come after anyone in this college, that that person could defend themselves. And then that criminal would think twice about victimizing anybody. Does anyone even know if there was a student that did the shooting on the Virginia Tech campus? Is he still no, they don't know anything about the exactly. shooting yet. It, could not, it might yes, not even be a student. You guys are just, people are just thinking, oh, does it happen to Virginia Tech? Must be a student. That guy could be 40 years old, could have been doing whatever he wanted, shot someone in the parking lot, and then shot a cop. It was a traffic stop. Exactly, a traffic stop. So sorry, you got that, that those things happened. But he, how do you know he was a student? Yeah. How do you no. know that gun was registered? It probably wasn't. That's right. That's the you, point. you can't prevent people don't commit crimes with crime crime registered weapons. Crime 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 Look, if we could if we could snap our fingers and uninvent guns, that would be cool. I would do it. No way. But you can't. <laughs> You need them to feed yourself. Well, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to articulate. If, if like all the badness in the world could be uninvented and like it could be rainbows all the time, that would be great. But the fact is that the, more more rainbows. Yeah. You know. So right, white fluffy bunnies running around everywhere. But the fact is, there are bad people that don't care about the law. Brad, is it true that the university offered you a larger venue to have a debate and dialogue about these issues? No. No, they did not. I, I wonder if we could have more people like inside in a more, you know. I would love to. I would love to debate the campus police chief on the firearms policy. So, will you be in contact with the administration, perhaps, to follow up on that um, possibility to have yes. a dialogue and debate where yeah. more people could be present and hear yeah. information? Yeah, that would be great. Students all demand that because the police chiefs are like, yeah, yeah, the student body should demand it and the administration should do it on their own. Hey, Brad. The, it's the institution of education. That has to do you think it's yeah. ironic that a gun ban would be enforced by a group of people with guns? <laughs> yeah, it empowers them. I will just look around and see what people think to that. I mean, people are chuckling because, yeah, I mean, look again, I mean, I was wearing a uniform two years ago, but now I'm a terrorist because I want to carry a gun. I mean, Tommy carried a machine gun every day, but now he's a terrorist because he wants to carry a gun. I mean, that don't don't you people see? There's like two classes of people. There's two classes of people, but we're all the same. Just wearing a uniform doesn't make you any better. Thank you. I I mean I totally get your point. Like, but I'm not sure if I actually trust my fellow students who have varying gun experience, and there's no mandatory thing in this legislation that requires any sort of training. I don't know if I trust them to take it upon themselves to be vigilantes. Well, then you should help us uh, promote firearm safety and firearm training and responsibility. And but there's still no mandatory you know, clause that requires it and I, I feel like there should be so let me ask you if okay so you think there should be what are you willing to do to someone who's not willing to comply with what you want i don't know are you willing to put them in a cage <laughs> no no okay then you're suggesting something then. and i have no problem with suggestions I, I i just feel like there should be some kind of training that should and i agree with you i just don't think it should be forced on people i think people should i think people I think people should be encouraged to be responsible, and that people uh, people should be trusted to do the right thing. And if someone hurts somebody else, they should they should have to pay consequences for it. Yeah, I respect. I respect. I think a lot of people would do it voluntarily. Because they, I mean, I know. I would want to carry a gun. I would want to be trained on how to use it. I'm a terrorist. They call me a terrorist. And I would have a phone. I would have a phone.